Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, comment on the content. So on this video, I had to write this stuff down because it, it was way more than this, but I just wanted to sum it up to seven reasons. Seven reasons why men should not waste their time chasing women. I got them. I'm a, I got them wrote down. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you what they are, and then I'm gonna comment a little bit, and we're gonna keep this video short for attention span purposes. Again, understand that it's not about looks. Women gonna choose who they choose. It's not about looks. They want you to believe it's about looks, cause that'll give them an advantage over you if you're a person with low self-esteem. If you're a person with uh, uh, self-worth issues which is basically kind of the same as low self-esteem the number one reason is STDs me personally I've never had STDs the only thing I had a minor issue but it wasn't I mean it kind of fall in that category but i've never had things such as gonorrhea syphilis herpes all that stuff but a lot of these women got that stuff one reason could they getting it from pookie ray ray and day day i worked in the detention center and i saw the guys that had a lot of girlfriends and and dealt with a lot of girls they had a lot of stds and the girls that a lot of guys like had a lot of STDs. I used to have to take them to the nurse, so I know. Do you think it's any different for older people? No, it's not. So STDs is number one. STDs can damage your reproductive organs as well as your brain. Number two, vaginal conditions. If you knew about the VJ, you would go pursue something else. You clearly don't know because you're still chasing it. Like, it's supposed to really chase you. Depending on value levels, if you really understand the true value of it, it should be chasing you. Too loose, too dry, smelly. Like I said, STDs. Conditions is number two. Number three, most of them add nothing to you. They can become time thieves, energy zappers. You always arguing with them. And for what? Some of y'all ain't even getting none. You always arguing with them. Stop arguing with them, especially if you ain't getting none. Stop arguing with them. If you, if you can't talk to them, don't talk to them. But don't be arguing with them, especially you unmarried people. If you plan on marrying her and all y'all do is fight, Come on now, man. Number three, like I said, is most of them add nothing to you. They can be time thieves, energy zappers. Number four, the possibilities of child support, alimony, so on and so forth. On top of the first three I mentioned, the first three should be enough for you to get the message. You doing that over, look at those conditions. Look at those conditions now. And then you want to, with all of that, one, two, and three, you putting yourself at risk to become her slave? Take it from me. No, man, no, no, no. Keep your freedom, man. Make them prove themselves to you like I said on the other video. Number five, the possibility of getting robbed or going to jail. Now, I know police officers that judge these type of things fairly. But some of them just going to take you to jail. They just going to take her side. She's been unattacked you. You just trying to keep her from, from hitting you. And you end up in jail. But if you wouldn't have been dealing with her that tight, the possibilities wouldn't have been there. Possibilities to go to jail. You playing stepdaddy. You you got uh, uh, you dealing with these crazy women, kids. 
Like, you know, anytime you deal with these kids, like I know a guy that's a good guy, man, you know, you know, he's a good guy. He ended up in jail dealing with these kids in the jail because it starts with the parents and the grandparents. Like if they don't get nothing right from now, number six, the possibility of being cheated on. You expected to be faithful and then they cheat. They talk about, well, I need, I gotta be the only one, all this, all that. Then they sneak around. You ain't, the reason why some of y'all ain't getting none is because not only the disrespect factor, but it's because some of them have other dudes and some of them have multiple dudes. Why would they come home to you who they already feel they're comfortable with and got and give you some and they're giving them other two or three guys some? You going to be the odd man out. And number seven, the possibility of death. We see the Michigan State player. He got involved in some stuff and ended up losing his life. They are not worth losing your life. Now, I can see if somebody come in your house, somebody, uh, certain situations where you, you need to defend your loved ones, your mother, your sisters, your wife. But you need to know the whole story because you should never defend somebody that's starting stuff. Case in point, the dude at the Pittsburgh Steelers Detroit Lions game. He really should have been like, go sit down somewhere. Get out of his face. But because you, ooh, 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 I got one, oh, oh, I got one off. Then weeks, months pass. You argue more than you getting it. And your wife is at a, a, a football game challenging people to fights. If you can't check her, then you need to leave her alone. If she's uncheckable, she's not. She's a fake wife. Fake wives need to become ex-wives. So the possibilities of death is the last one. STDs, number one. Number two, V VJ conditions. Too loose, stinky. I mean, just too tight, whatever, whatever the conditions are. STDs, like I said, most of them add nothing. They can be time thieves, energy zapters. You always arguing with them, it's going to zap your energy. You always wondering what they're doing, it's going to zap your energy. Number four, possibilities of child support and alimony is not worth it. You don't work for her. She's supposed to be there assisting you in whatever way that you need assistance. Number five, possibility of getting robbed or going to jail. Number six, possibility of che getting cheated on. And number seven, possibility of death. Guys dying because of these women. They play that little game with your kids. Play the little game with your kids. If they know that's how they'll get a rise out of you, they're going to do it. And that proves how evil they are regardless of what their beliefs are. And they play the little kid game. How these dudes around your kids, all this, all that. That's evil. But that's what we're dealing with, with XX. But anyway, this is the Truth Man channel. There's no matrix, no simping, all subjects channel. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in for more videos.